Hi, and welcome to another session with me, Valerie Graham, in the Crafting Corner. Hope everyone is doing well and excited about today's craft. Uh, today we're going to be making a water bottle holder. We're going to be decorating the bag that holds the water bottle or your favorite juice or favorite beverage. Okay, we're going to be decorating all of the, we're going to be decorating um, a bottle using um, fabric markers like this. Um, if you get pick up a kit, you'll receive uh, two, two fabric markers in your kit. And you'll also, of course, receive the water bottle bag. How, um, but you can use, I tested it, and you can use permanent markers. You know, the Sharpies. You can use Sharpie markers, and I even tried Crayola markers. Now, any other type marker, I can't, I can't say that it will work, but I do know that these work. The trick is, is that you gotta let it dry for a few days before you try it, before you let it get wet, okay? On the inside of the bag, it's like a foil, a foil lining. I don't know if you can see that. There's a foil lining inside, okay? This helps to keep your beverage either hot or cold or whatever for, you know, a short time. Not forever, but um, for a short time. Then you have also have an adjustable strap to make it longer or shorter while you, um, you know, you could carry it on your shoulder or just grab it on your arm, whatever, okay? And there's also a drawstring so that you can tighten it if you have something. Maybe you don't want to put a beverage in it. Maybe you want to carry something else in it so you can use the drawstring to pull it in. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna, um, I'm going to decorate this one. Uh, now, in, doing, in decorating your bag, right, put your, um, your uh, strap inside the bag, okay? Now, I'm, I know everybody must have some uh, recycled bags, plastic bags from the grocery store or from shopping. You want to take these bags and stuff it inside because you want to puff this out. You want this to be nice and puffy because it'll make it easier for you to create your design on the outside of this bag. So make sure you get it in there nice and tight, okay? And try to get as close to the top as you can. Just take bags and stuff them in. If you have newspaper, newspaper will work too. Uh, I think, I like the bags better though because the bags are, you know, more, uh, uh, how can I say, I guess, um, easier to work with as far as stuffing them. You know, when you stuff paper, it tends to get balled up and it stays that way. Where in plastic bags, you know, they puff out. So, you see I have a nice puffy bag here. Okay, the next thing you want to do is get a, a, a pencil and a piece of paper, okay? And think about what it is that you want to put on the outside of your bag. Don't just start writing on your bag because you might not like what you put there, okay? Um, on this bottle, uh, this bottle was done uh, to highlight the um, water and there's different ways to say uh, water and she put it in different languages and uh, um, and you know just descriptions of water and to encourage drinking water okay this one I was done with flowers okay just a garden of flowers all around the bottle all right now this is my cranberry juice I love cranberry juice this is uh, one that was designed and it says, got water. Okay, water is so very important to all of us. We should drink plenty of water daily. Okay, and then this one, I don't know what this means. Someone, I asked someone to help with designing, you know, coming up with designs for the bag and this is what she came up with, but I'm not quite sure what Cielo means. Maybe you do, okay? But these are just some of the designs that um, I came up with. Now, I have a pink and green fabric marker that came in 
uh, one of the kits. So I have these two markers that I'm going to use. I'm also going to use the uh, Sharpies and I'm going to use the Crayolas on the bag. Now the design I'm going to create, you know what, I really hadn't even thought about uh, anything but maybe, uh, let's see, um, let's do, let's do, I don't know. Okay, I'm a, I'm a flower person, so I'm gonna do more flowers, okay? So I'm just gonna draw out some flowers that I can, that I can put on my, on my bag all over my bag. You guys, you come up, I, I, I know you guys have other ideas about what you want to put on your bag. So, on your water bottle holder, I'd love to see them, what the guys come up with to put on their bags. I tried to get my husband to do one, he wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I, I'm, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a bunch of flowers all over my bag but not in a garden style, just, and just all over the bag like this. Okay, so that's what, that's what my design is gonna be. Maybe I'll come up with a word or two, love, peace, joy. Yeah, maybe I'll do love, peace, joy. Yeah, maybe I'll do that, okay? We always want to spread love, spread peace, and spread joy. Okay, so let me uh, get the markers that I need in order to create my design. So I need a brown marker for my center for my flower, for one of my flowers. So I'm going to just put a, a round circle here. I'm using brown. for that. And then I think I'm going to use pink. I try to create like a Gerber daisy. Anybody know and seen a Gerber daisy? I think it's this color. It has like a it has like a brown center and then there's another color on the outside of that circle. Okay, and then I'll do my petals. I'll do my petals in pink. Okay, now this is the fabric marker I'm using. So as you can see, the fabric markers really work best. They, uh, they highlight, you know, the colors come out more brilliant than, um, the other markers. You may have to go back over if you use the um, Crayola or Sharpie markers. Just go back over what you what you do. Okay. You may even have to do it with your um, with your fabric marker too, because once it dries, it like absorbs into the fabric. Okay. Okay. So I got my one flower. I'm not I'm not happy with that brown piece. I'm, so I'm gonna go back over that a little bit because it didn't really fill in like I want it. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, now let's do another, I'm gonna do another uh, flower. Do one down here. So I'm gonna make a yellow center this time. I like flowers. So I tend to, that's what I tend to, uh, to do. So I'm doing, this is a, see now this is my orange, it's supposed to come out orange, but it's coming out like a dark brown, but that's okay. Flowers come in all colors. And you know what, you could even get creative with your flowers by, um, uh, you know, doing them in multiple colors, like make your petals, I'm going to do one with multiple colors. I'm going to make my petals, uh, I think I'll do pink and red. I think I'll do a pink and red one. OK, 
Okay, there's another one. All right, now let me let me put some words on it now. Let's see. I'm going to do I'm going to do love right here. Let's do love right here. Okay, I'm just going to put the word love right there. Okay? So when people look at my water bottle holder, I want them to have good thoughts. So I'm going to put peace up here. Okay. Now I think my water bottle holder needs more needs some more flowers. So this is the one I'm going to do the multicolored um, flower. So let's I'm going to do. You know what? I'm going to do a blue center this time. Now because this is my water bottle holder, this is my what I want to make my petals and flowers of the petals and the uh, my flat what what I want my flower to look like so I'm going to get creative and just oh my red doesn't work okay let me use the Crayola this is the red for the Crayola okay the red one on this side So I'm using markers that have been used already, so the colors might be a little bit off. But the uh, fabric markers that you're going to get, they, want, they will not have been used. So don't worry. You get fresh markers in your kit to create your designs, OK? The fabric markers, all right? So you could go all the way around the bag, okay, with the uh, flowers. Let me see. I got. I want to put my one. I'm gonna put my one uh, other word, joy. I'll put that in purple. Put that there, right here. I don't want to hide it. The word joy right there. Okay, so that's my word joy. And now I'm going to add another flower on the other side to complete to complete my um, my uh, my water bottle bag to complete the design on my water bottle bag. All right, so let's see. Put another flower up here. Is this the one that's working? Let me see. Oh, this is the one that comes out brown. I really don't like this color. Okay, so this time I'm going to use three colors. Hope I have enough space. Let's see. Uh, let's do. Let's put some green in here. Yeah, let's do some green. Yeah, that looks good. Put the green over there. And then, which colors did I use? I think I used red, right? I think I used red. Yeah. Red, and then this orange. Okay. So, there's my decorated water bottle bag. Okay, I, I would um, recommend that you let it set dry for a day or so, completely dry, so that you don't smudge the, um, the uh, markers on, the, on your bag, as well as uh, you want this to really set because when water, you don't want, wa when water hit it, to hit it, you don't want it to bleed. So really let it set for, you know, maybe a couple of days, okay, before you actually use it. Then, um, and, and keep your bags inside. 
so that you know it stays puffed out and dries uh, evenly. Also, um, you know, once it's dry, take your bags out and use your water bottle for whatever you like. Water bottle, juice, beverage, whatever, whatever you want to put inside. Just, uh, just make sure you uh, create your design first on paper, then transfer it to your bag, okay? All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's craft. I encourage you to uh, uh, register on Community Pass or contact the uh, Linden Recreation Department at 908-474-8600 to register for uh, these crafts and other crafts that, we'll be do that they'll be doing. Check the, uh, the um, city website because they post uh, uh, craft activities. Well, they post all types of activities there. Okay, again, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.